how do you do, G Pot Crew? It's your naughty body potty here, and today we're talking about knuckles. So, um, I'm sorry that this is late. I had plans to actually record this with the guys, but I guess because we always have like scheduling conflicts and everything, um, I wasn't aware that it was already shot. So, I'm shooting mine now. Um, I have some exciting stuff I want to talk about when it comes to this. And all this week is going to be reviews that I've missed and catching up and things, uh, which will lead into an X-Men um, 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 X Men video at the end. So basically, you got your X-Men video that posted yesterday. You have this video. I will be live streaming on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday will be the... Uh, um, will be the uh, 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 either the other X-Men thing or Madam Web. I'm planning on doing a Madam Web review, but it might be until later, um, which... Not going to be happy how I feel about that. Um, and then, of course, there's Knuckles right now today on Tuesday. So um, with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of jump ahead when it comes to spoilers. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to talk about my re my reaction review, but I'll give you my number. And then I'll solidify why I gave that number. So I'm giving this a six and a half. It's a low number. Um, I, I I fairly understand that. Um, but uh, I have my reasoning. Um, so if you are just like to get my numbers on it, that would be it. The reason I the reason I give it that number, and I'm going to go ahead and put spoilers now because I may just go into details that are going to be, you know, eccentrically plot driven, I guess you could say. Eccentri eccentrically plot, plot driven. I don't think I've ever used a word like that before. But anyway, um, so the reason I'm bringing this up is because and why I'm kind of skipping to my um my spoiler part of this is that this movie or movie i should say this series um though it is good that each episode is short for kids but like for example the only things that really got me excited about this was any moment knuckles had against bad guys so prime example is this for those that don't know the first battle that happens in the uh with knuckles against um um, against some uh, some villains, I guess you can call them. They don't really work for. Um, they don't work. For, I think they work for um, one of the other companies that was, that was in uh, uh, Sonic S. And I can't think of the name of it right now. But um, so Wade Whipple, which is the uh, made played by Adam Pally, he actually is a ma the main character that's also in the Sonic the Hedgehog movies, including Tika Sumpler as Maddie, and then of course the voice actors of all the characters because we end up seeing Tails. We end up seeing Sonic. So, of course, we got to see Ben Schwartz doing the voice of Sonic. Um, we also got the voice of Idris Elba as Knuckles, of course, because, well, he is the star of the, the show. But here's my situation. And my, I'm wondering, the first battle that was really cool that had Kid Cudi in there. Now, I wanted to bring this up because of Kid Cudi. Um, Kid Cudi, popular musician, um, uh, Day and Night, probably the biggest hit ever. Um, I, I know what my favorite song by him is, but... Second favorite song would be In Pursuit of Happiness. Um, but my point to the whole thing is I think Cuddy's a fan. And the reason I say that is because Kid Cuddy actually released a song for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 called Stars in the Sky. Um, you know, stars in the sky, babe, I'm home, which I'm not singing it that well. Copyright too. Um, so seeing Kid Cuddy in this makes me think that either he's a fan or in relation to the people that make the music video and the, the show – or he's just a fan of Sonic in general and had to be in it, which for me, that is just amazing. I, you know, I love Kid Cudi. Um, I loved when he was on Comedy Bang Bang. Um, I loved I, I, everything I've seen him in. I really enjoyed his performances. He is a joy to watch when it comes to his roles. And, and honestly, his part in this was way more interesting than Adam Pally's Wade Whipple. That's the problem i have with this the actor adam pally is not a bad actor but that character of wade whipple just is god his his whole relationship with his father pete whipple is just weird nonetheless now the one thing i am excited about and this is the stuff i can't wait to talk about is um uh, um the the uh, echidna uh patrick 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 Kamaka, i don't know how to pronounce that played by christopher lloyd so when it comes to knuckles the biggest thing about him is his connection with uh um his echidna tribe and we actually get his one of his echidna tribesmen played by christopher lloyd which just turned out to be so great but i want more deep lore now unfortunately my friends are right they were going to keep it outside of the world of the echidnas and i hope that we get that eventually 
But like, here's my thing. I get why they have to have the humans in there. So, for example, in uh, in Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 movies, of course, not the games, we had a lot of the actors, but we had some time moments with the, the characters. This, we don't get that much. Now, we do have a, a brief moment with Sonic and Knuckles in the, in the, in the first few episodes, or first, first episode, I should say. But at that point, it's just basically Wade Whipple, a.k.a. Adam Pally, and Knuckles, Idris Alba. And any part that Knuckles is in is pretty damn good. The final fight scene is pretty awesome. The uh, other fight scenes in between, the moments of bliss for, for Knuckles, um, and just... Like there's times with with uh, with uh, uh, Wade and uh, Knuckles that are really fun, but they just don't push the punch, and that's what is upsetting. Honestly, when it comes to this uh, uh, to this show, is I get that it's targeting kids, so it has to have jokes in there that target kids, especially with uh, Colleen uh, um, uh, playing Miles. They're gonna have a very kiddie core situation, but. Like, it's way too kiddie. Like, at least with Sonic 1 and 2, they left some uh, uh, adult jokes or, uh, like, you know, innuendo jokes, I guess you could say. And I felt like they hit a lot better in this. Now, granted, is a TV show compared to a movie, but the problem is it's still a situation where they basically... um It doesn't feel like it has the love that the movies have. Now, of course... At the end of this year, we're going to get Sonic 3, which we will be, just like I'm doing with Deadpool, we'll be doing a lead into Sonic. People might have think, why don't you do that with Knuckles? And I was going to. I was going to lead into it, and then and, and then I just, life changed. And I'm kind of glad that happened. I'm late with this. Now, I know people are going to be like, really? You're happy this is late? Yes. Happy this is late. The reason I'm happy this is late is because, unfortunately, because I, and I watched it when it first came out, but it's, it's, heartbreaking to see how bad this is so with that being said i'm kind of glad that it didn't turn out as great as i wanted it to and then hopefully it's not going to hurt the movies but honestly i don't think so i think it's just a side side genre that just works on its own merits and maybe it'll get better if they decide to do a season two of knuckles but honestly i don't i won't hold my breath i don't know what the numbers show as far as popularity i haven't checked any numbers online I know for my number, being number six, is pretty low for being a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. So you would think I would be right along with this, but no, unfortunately, in my eyes, it's not that good. Now, we did get a lot of Easter eggs. I haven't watched it in a while to really point out what Easter eggs there are, but I know there's a lot of Easter eggs um, that I was going to uh, join to point out. I know the guys, they point out some as well. Um, and I, I would love to break it down, but I feel like I should save that for Sonic make a bigger breakdown for that. If you guys really do want a breakdown, drop a like on this video, drop a, a heavy hearted comment and then share it with your friends. If we get enough views on this one, I'm and 90% or let's just even say 25% of people want me to do a breakdown and the Easter eggs. I'm, I'm down to do it. I will go watch the episodes again, re recap everything I found and go through it. Cause like there are some nice little Easter eggs for any Sonic fans in there or Knuckles fans. For example, I'll use one as an example. When he's in the car eating grapes with uh with Wade driving. If people don't know, in the original Sonic the Hedgehog three manual, yeah, it's three manual. Um they actually show Knuckles in there and they say his favorite food is grapes. And now it's become a thing where it's his favorite food to eat is grapes. And we actually got that moment. That's a prime example of a little Easter egg that a lot of people aren't going to notice unless you're a true hardcore Sonic fan. Um, and of course, I, there was much more that I could think of. The grapes really stuck out with me. Um, I know a few other ones stuck on me at the time, but I think the grapes are the ones that really stuck in my head outside of the Kid Cudi appearance. Um which that's not even really a Sonic reference. That's more of a Sonic movie reference because he did the song uh, for uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, which, by the way, if you guys never heard Stars in the Sky, definitely go check it out, um, which I will be doing a well, I will be doing a treadmill video for that when uh, when we get closer to Sonic, including that and the Lil Wayne song. So don't worry. There's going to be some awesome stuff leading into that, just like Deadpool. But with that being said, six is my score for Knuckles the Echidna TV series on Paramount+. Plus. Um, maybe the next season will be better. Um, honestly, it's not really my cup of tea, unfortunately. I hate saying that. 
but I am glad that I did um did you know go through and watch it because honestly, um it's still part of that canon. And I just feel Knuckles deserves better, and that's that when it comes to shows. And then, honestly, I feel like Knuckles should have got his own side movie, even if it's just made for TV movie, because then we can get action packed with it. I know forcing the characters as uh, humans is something that's needed in order to make it a live action Saga Hedgehog and all that. But I mean, I I, I get it that it's hard to have little animated characters in a real world hold it. I mean, look at Lion King, how that turned out. The, the live action, not the original animated one. That's a classic. That's a lovable one. But with that being said, guys, there you guys have it. My official review and slight breakdown of Knuckles the Echidna on Paramount+. Plus. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want me to actually do a full breakdown of the Easter eggs in Knuckles the Echidna, I'd be happy to, but I'm sure everyone has already put them out there for themselves. Uh, I figured since mine's late, it's not really going to be a full breakdown. So I'll just keep this as a review for you. And I appreciate y'all watching. Um, tomorrow we are live streaming um, the last live stream for the, 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 for the Fortnite season until we go to the new one. And then we got Memorial Day where we actually have three days off. So we're going to have an extra stream this, this upcoming weekend. Two for the price of one for you guys. And we'll be doing giveaways. Um, of course, make sure you guys stick around for that. But as always, I'm Putty with the G-Pop crew. And you know what we do. Do reviews of Sonic stuff I love, like a Knuckles, the Echidna too. I know I didn't have all my stuff for the uh, review. Uh, out because well I had to do this quickly but at least I had this little guy here and something my friend Myla made for me but either way love it appreciate it I I, I have more stuff it's just in boxes and I didn't feel like pulling it out that's the geek in me but not the geek in me to have time to pull that out I'm doing this after my workout guys it's late it's 8 30 and I gotta be the bed anyway I'll talk to y'all later peace